Hello YouTube, Jacob from Bonka Bonk Studios here and today I'll be showing you uh, how to implement your own skin and to a character that I rigged up in Blender. So uh, when we left off this is what we were working on. If you didn't see the other tutorial it was on how to set up a scene. Uh, you should probably go check that out. Um, so to start off we're going to append we did that in the last tutorial so you go to file append uh, then you'll go to where you downloaded the file from the last tutorial I'll probably try and put it in this description as well so then you go to blends and then you go to uh, wherever your, the blend file is that's right here then you go to object and voila here's all the cubes that we got for our Minecraft animations. We got um, our zombies and stuff. And so we want the Steve person. So here's our rig. And then you hit Shift, left click, Steve. And then you link and append. And there he is down there. So I'm just going to go and grab him by the Z. So I'm hitting G, Z. And then he's up there. So I'm just going to move him out of the way by hitting G, Y, and then move on the Y axis. So, so to not have him go up and down like one block at a time, you can hit Control. And now you can move him at however you want to move him. If you want to move him down there, that's fine. So, that's my skin. Well, actually not my skin, my twin skin. So, to change it to your own skin, we're going to move this over to the side a little, and then this down a little, and we're going to click right here and click UV Image Editor. So this will be where we have all our images. So we're going to right click on the player, not the rig, the player. It should say Steve. So we're going to go into Edit Mode by hitting Tab. And then to select all the vertices except for the eyes and eyebrows, we're going to have to go into wireframe by hitting Z. And then we're going to have to go to view, top view, or hit 7 on your numpad. And now we're going to go into perspective mode, I think it is. And we hit 5 on the numpad, or you can go to view, and then view perspective or ortho. So now we're just going to zoom in and try and select the back vertices over here. Try and select those. Don't get any of the eyebrows or anything. Just select the back. And then now we're going to hit control and then plus on the numpad. And that will select all of our vertices there. Uh, let's see... I don't know how to do it without a numpad. Let's see. Um, sorry that I don't know how to do this. It might be under select. And then... Here. So you just keep clicking more. And that's equivalent to hitting control plus on the numpad. So there you go. You have your guy selected. So now when we go over to our UV uh, image editor. And there's our skin. So you're going to go to where it says image, and then replace image, and then go to whatever skin you want. So I'm going to go to my skin. So it's red. So it's all there. So now we're going to go out of edit mode. So you have to have your cursor in this 3D view. And you hit tab, and then alt Z to go into textured. And then there's our skin. So when we render it, it won't be rendered because we still have to edit it in the texture. Oh, maybe it will be rendered. I don't know why I did that, but... Because we're supposed to... Oh, so if it didn't work for you... No, never mind. It should work then. Because it's getting that texture. So as long as you replace that texture, you don't replace any of the other textures, I guess. It was giving me problems earlier this morning, so I guess that's good that it's fixed. So, 
that's how you would put it so you have your own texture and then to move the player around you're not going to move them by this because that messes with the rig if you want to move them around you only have to move them on the by grabbing his rig and then moving them around and that's it for this tutorial the next tutorial I'll do animating and shape keys which is how to move the facial expressions and move the player and record it to an animation uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next video